Okay. Um, well, any time that we're asked to find the intersections or the number of intersections between a curve and a straight line, for example, we're going to have to use simultaneous equations. Okay. We're usually going to substitute one into the other. So in this case, the question is asking, here is a straight line, here is a circle, can you determine whether there are any intersections? Okay, we're not going to look exactly at the points of intersection, if there are any, we're just going to work through the method to show if there are or not. Okay, so, first of all, I'm going to rearrange the straight line, the equation of the straight line, okay? So, I'm actually going to add y to both sides, and I'm going to rewrite it as y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, that will make things a lot easier. Now, I can just do a straight substitution into the equation of the circle. Okay, so we're going to get x squared minus 6x. Now, the y is x plus 1. So it's x plus 1 squared is equal to 0. Now, if we multiply this out, we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus x squared plus 2x plus 1. These last three terms having come from the x plus 1 squared being multiplied out. Okay, so we've now got, if I group terms together, 2x squareds, we've got minus 6x plus 2x is minus 4x, and I've got that plus 1 on the end. Okay, now what I've done here is I've looked at the circle and the straight line, okay, and I'm now saying I'm trying to find out where both are equal, where they are both the same, so the intersections. So I need to solve this equation that I have here, okay? But because I'm only looking to see if there are any solutions, I'm just going to use the discriminant, okay? So b squared minus 4ac. If this is negative, then it's the square root of a negative when we come to the solutions. So there will be no intersections between the two. Okay? If there is if it is equal to zero, if the discriminant is zero, then that means there is only one solution, which means the straight line is a tangent to the circle. Okay, so it only crosses only touches the circle once. On the other hand, if the discriminant is greater than zero, then there are two distinct intersections. Okay, so b squared, so that's minus 4 squared, so that's 16, and we've got 4 times 2 times 1 is 8, so minus 8, so 16 take away 8 is 8, which is greater than 0. So in this case, we can quite clearly see that there must be two intersection points between x minus y plus 1 equals 0, and x squared minus 6x plus y squared equals 0.